Hello, I hope to show you a lot on uh, using your Wii controller on your uh, Linux computer with uh, open source tools. And uh, this is going to be the first in a series because there's so much you can do with, uh, with a Wii controller. It's a great tool that you can get for like $25 on Amazon. It's how much I paid for this. You can get a double charger for another $10 with battery packs so you don't have to waste your uh, AA batteries. Let's dive in. There's lots of tools if you go through your package manager for the Wii. Just do a search for Wii in your package manager and you'll get at least uh, five to ten different applications uh, available all with different uh, features to them. First one I'm going to show you is this WMGUI. Uh, basically this application that lets you see uh, the information coming from your Wii controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit here we're going to click connect and it tells you put your Wii remote in discovery mode by pressing 1, 2 uh, and then press OK. So you have your 1 and 2 button here when you click those, you'll see your lights start to flash. Now, if we click OK, it'll take a few seconds and the Wii remote should connect. I should mention that uh, you are connecting through Bluetooth, so you need Bluetooth on your computer and you need uh, the Blues uh, utilities, uh, which are installed by default on most distributions of Linux. If not, they will be in your package manager. Now we've connected, so now if you see as I press buttons on the controller, you can see them light up in the screen there. So that way you can learn uh, what buttons do what. Uh, if we click up here on settings we can turn on some other things like uh, the AC data, ACC data which is the motion sensing. And we can also turn on IR which I don't have any IR lights right now but if you had an uh, infrared LED light you can actually use motion tracking because the Wii controller actually is different from most remotes. Most remotes uh, send out an infrared signal from the controller. The Wii remote is actually has an infrared camera built into it. And if you had a infrared light, it would actually show up where the infrared lights are over in this little area here. Now, if we uh, turn on uh, this switch here, uh, it's not going to do anything right now for the Wii controller because all these extra controls, you got your nunchucks and classic controllers, those are the things that attach to the bottom of the Wii, which I will show you uh, in future videos using the Wii guitar, and uh, if you have the, the nunchuck connections to this, this will be how you uh, learn what buttons on your Wii guitar are what, so you can assign them for different features that you want to use them for because any of the buttons on this controller can be programmed to be uh, send any signal to your computer whether it be uh, button presses on the keyboard or, or to run applications and you can even use it to control your, your cursor on your screen. So these are things I'm going to show you in future videos but I just wanted to get you familiar with how to connect uh, your Wii controller through Bluetooth and how to detect what buttons are what so that in future videos we can program them, use the Wii guitar with synthesizers, uh, drum machines, uh, and, and video games, of course. So I hope this was a helpful video, and I hope you come back for the rest of the videos in this tutorial lesson.